Hello everyone, hope you're all fit and well. This is Stephen Clark and friends with a light-hearted look at Thailand's latest news and of course the surrounding areas. Chiang Mai lanterns grounded for the Loi Cao Festival. Very sad to see. And a report from our gun expert Adrian about the latest gun news. Police look at rewards for information about illegal street racing on motorbikes in Bangkok getting a bit out of control. Thailand's ban on home smoking starts. But first up, we have a Thai man arrested for what was in his underpants heading for Japan. A Thai man's been arrested in his underpants. Well, not over his underpants, what was in his underpants? What was in his underpants? He was trying to smuggle out 970 grams of crystal methamphetamine or ice to Japan for his holiday, I guess, I don't know. The Deputy Police Commissioner General held a press conference and told the press conference at the Narcotics Suppression Bureau the suspect was arrested on the August the 16th while about to board a plane for Japan at Bangkok's older airport, the Dom Myong Airport. He was taken to a room for a thorough checkup after police noticed that he was nervous and walking funny. It was revealed he had two pair of underpants on. And under the second layer of underpants, there was a napkin. Police found 370 grams of crystal meth hidden inside the napkin, as well as additional drugs stuck up his bum. <laughs> That's probably why he was walking funny. <laughs> uh, the suspect admitted he had smuggled drugs to Japan five other times. More and more gangs are trying to smuggle drugs into Japan, so that's why police are stepping up their checks of passengers heading there from Thailand. So if you're going through immigration and people keep staring at your uh, crutch, you'll know they suspect you of having two sets of underpants on and have drugs up your rectum. <laughs> well, there's been another uh, inadvertent gun shooting, gun misfiring at uh, Temple this time in Pattaya the Chai Mongkol Temple. The, uh, one of the temple workers was uh, drunk and playing with his gun when it unexpectedly fired. The police arrived and took his gun, took possession of his gun and ammo and paramedics treated his hand wound, the bullet wound and took him to the hospital. Okay, this is a story we need to explain. An FBI agent, still unidentified, making headlines for his night on the town. Around 1 a.m., the agent, this is out in Colorado, is dancing aggressively, as you see at this nightclub. When his gun falls out of its holster and goes off, a bullet hit a man's lower leg. Legal analysts say it's unlikely the agent faces charges, but he could be held civilly liable and sued. I just fucking shot myself. This 44 Magnum can shoot in single action. Did you mean to do that? Yeah. <laughs> this is a Glock 40. 50 cent, too short. All of them talk about Glock 40. Okay, I'm the only one in this room professional enough that I know of to carry this Glock 40. I'm the only one. Okay. Right. Okay. No more. Is everybody all right? You all right? Hi again, Mark here. Here's another story from um, Thailand. As you may or may not know, the youngsters in Thailand like to street race on their motorcycles. They soup them up, these little 125s, cut them all back so they go extra fast. They'd actually street race on these. Now there's been a lot of incidents of street racing on motorcycles in the last year and the police have decided to crack down on it. Now the way they're going to crack down on this is ask people to inform them where the street racing is going to happen and what time. They are offering them monetary rewards, hoping people will come forward and then they can stop this type of road racing. The reason they want to stop this road racing is because there's a certain amount of deaths involved there actually there is a lot of death involved not only to the motorcyclists themselves but also spectators and also other road users because now and again you'll get a lorry crossover and bingo if it's the lorry thanks very much this is mark leverage for talkback thailand see you soon
smoking ban started on August the 20th, 2019, so it's already in effect. So Thailand's ban on smoking in houses comes into effect today. People in Thailand can be charged with domestic abuse for lighting up in their house. Women and children are said to be the recipients of most secondhand smoke and from today onward can be considered victims in Thailand. There is a hotline number in every province to call to report violations. Speaking to manager Dr. Renachi Kongsakon of a tobacco research group said that the women were particularly vulnerable with 81% suffering secondhand smoke at home. He claimed that 430,000 people die worldwide annually from secondhand smoke, and two out of three are women. Thailand's new law aims to stop smoking in homes by 100%. Hmm, interesting. People can call family and protective centres on 1300 to report abuse. Cases may then be referred to juvenile and other courts. The move is the latest in a long line of measures to stop people smoking in Thailand, especially in public places. It is now illegal to smoke within 5 metres of any entrance to a property, with 5,000 baht fined for violation. Smoking has been banned at airports with special rooms outside terminals for those that smoke. A beach ban with possibilities of jail term came in in February 2018. There are thought to be 10 million smokers in Thailand with around 72,000 deaths annually. Well, uh, why doesn't the government just ban cigarettes in Thailand? Uh, tobacco would be the best move if they reckon it's so bad for you and it's banned. Just ban them in Thailand. Why doesn't all the governments do that instead of being money hungry and grabbing the tax from it? That goes for all governments. That was bloody interesting, bloody Stephen. Brilliant, brilliant stuff, mate. Uh, yeah, yeah, wonderful. That was, that was an interesting video. That was an interesting video. <laughs>